Hi, I'm Grayson with Lost Highway Kennels. And I'm Emily with Short Hairs and Shotguns, and this is our companion gun dog training channel. Today we're going to talk about the natural retrieve, what we look for in a young dog, and things that we may be able to, uh, to do to help our dog develop uh, within their natural retrieve. Um, we have a six-month-old draught harwoods that we'll be demonstrating with today. Things that I want to look for are what I call ball drive. And this is the dog's willingness to chase, possess, and hopefully engage me over uh, a non-living item. We're not going to use a bird. We're going to hopefully start with items of least to highest value. So here's a bumper. It's not particularly satisfying. Um, it can be, depending on the dog and their drive. We've got a softer canvas bumper. We have a paint roller and we have a tennis ball today. So we're gonna try all these things. I'm gonna start with the least valuable, what I think would be the least valuable item with this dog. Uh, and we'll move up in terms of value if we need to with the dog and hopefully get him chasing, possessing, and engaging us over the item. And we're gonna talk about things that we can do uh, to encourage that behavior um, from a minimalistic approach. Okay, so this is Max, our young DD. Um, Max has just been begun the collar conditioning process. Uh, I'm relatively comfortable moving freely with him in the yard, uh, knowing that I can recall him if I need to. Um, I don't want to use that in this process. I simply want to encourage him to come to me uh, and, and engage me over the ball or, or the toy. So again, we're using um, this normal bumper. I choose uh, to use one without a rope when I'm working with a young dog. I just don't want anything um, to become distracting or get in the way. And, uh, most of us have seen a dog play with the bumper by the rope. So I'm going to talk about things that I can do non-verbally to encourage this, also to engage the dog, to bring him into drive, to allow him to satisfy the drive, and then hopefully get him to understand that engaging me over the toy is what's going to uh, reanimate the object and reinforce the behavior and hopefully get into a loop of self-reinforcing behaviors with the retrieve. Uh, this is not going to take the place of later down the road doing more of a formally trained retrieve, whether that be compulsory or reward based or both. Um, but what it is going to allow me to do is select number one, select a dog that I'm looking for for me personally or a client that may have uh, ambition to, to train and test these dogs. Um, also, it's going to allow me to develop things that are going to help me in later training. So, Max, bring him into drive. Good boy. And I'm going to be moving away from Max. Right. I don't want to give any nonverbal signals that make him think that I want to take this bumper away from him. I want him thinking that, hey, engaging me is fun. And right here, you notice he has the desire to possess this toy. Go ahead. He's a little chewy, it's no big deal. I'm not worrying about anything later, but he's not dropping. And what's happening is as he engages me, all I'm doing is giving him tactile contact that he likes. He's holding on to the bumper. When I choose to possess it, all I do is touch it and allow him to disengage. Good. He's gonna engage me again. Good boy. I'm beginning to actually use a verbal mark. Yes. Good. Good boy. And this is going to allow me to use this bumper later in training other behaviors and hopefully more complex behaviors. Good. Good boy. Yes. So notice he is dropping the bumper, engaging me over the bumper, and as soon as he does, good. He's waiting for the next iteration. Yes. Oh, that was very nice. So this is really, honestly, I believe the second or third session I've done anything with this dog. Yes, over a toy. We're using what I would consider to be the lowest value retrieve object. I'm going to use an animated play, and he's doing a fantastic job. If he wants to fight me over it, I'm not going to engage him to fight. I'm just going to give him that kind of tactile feedback. He's probably going to tie me up, and that's fine. And I hold it. Good. Yes. We're going to be able to do a lot with this in training later. Again, not moving toward Max. I'm always moving away if I want him to engage me. If he chooses to run away with it and possess it on his own, if he chooses to drop it like he just did, that's no big deal. Um, we don't want to do so much that the dog becomes disinterested in the game, which we may have done right here, and that's okay. So we want to keep these uh, 
These sessions very short, very sweet. If he re-engages, we're gonna end it right here. Good. Good bolt. Just gonna invite him to me non-verbally, engage him physically, but not over the bumper. And then when I choose to take it, just hold it. Good. Good bolt. And the game's over. Very nice.